Hey yo, and welcome to some things you might not know about your PS Vita system. Now, this isn't the obvious thing, so like, you know, you can hold this down and bring up the secret menu or something, or you can hold this down and turn off your Vita or something like that. No, this isn't, this isn't anything obvious. This is actually things you might not know. So, the first thing is that there are actually four hidden apps on the PS Vita. However, I'm only going to be showing off two of them as so the other two are pretty difficult to bring up. One of them being pretty much impossible on this firmware. But anyway, you have the package installer, you have to sign up for PSN, which only comes up when you first get your Vita or when you factory reset. And then you have the cinematic camera, I mean panoramic camera, and the cross controller. So to get panoramic camera, you click on photos, and then panoramic camera. And that brings up this app here, which is not actually on the home screen. Alright, and then for cross controller, I believe it's PS3 Remote PA, and then cross controller. And there you go, there's that app. And it's also not on the home screen. Okay, so now we've got though that done down. There is a shortcut on any app to take you straight to the browser. So um third party apps it's this button and on system apps it is this button okay now next one is something i've already shown off before in one of my videos but it's in the welcome pack app and basically it's two things i found in the welcome pack app You know, like this little wall in the background. If you touch the real touchpad, you can actually move it around. And you can tap on this little guy here. So we'll jump up and pull down a little video. And this video is the getting started video that looks a bit like this. I skipped my pause. I accidentally skipped it. Hang on, let me do that again. It's this video. This one. I'm actually going to screenshot this. Just because. And also, only this one you can skip it by pushing the stop button. How nice. And another little thing. Is in your friends app. I actually am surprised how many people don't know this one. But. In your friends app, if it ever load, uh, you can click on like someone, and uh, not this guy. Uh, let's say this button. Nope. Okay, so for some people, you can actually look at all of their friends, which is pretty crazy. You can um, click on Neo, which I don't think um, will actually do anything for this person. You can see what party they're in, you can click on their activity, which yeah, shows you all that stuff. In fact, I could just see on this right now. I didn't even know this was was thin. Wow. <laughs> okay. And you can block and remove them from friends as well if you want. And also, this next one is you can actually manage your apps. Remember from before when like you go into settings and like you could click on manage apps or whatever? You can still do that. In fact you can actually go and delete um PSP save fader from here. And you can go and delete 
I believe themes. Oh, th yeah, you can look at themes from the end content manager. You just click on this icon here, and it will take you to this. You could click on emails. You could do your music videos. You can do your PlayStation One stuff, which I don't have any of, um, and your applications as well. So like PlayStation Mobile, yeah, you can delete multiple applications at once if you want. You could delete multiple PS Vito applications at once, which I'm not going to do, but it is a thing. And PSP, you know, all that. Awesome. Um, okay, and then there is also... Uh, yeah, I can't actually think of anything else, so yeah, I guess that's about it. For this video, hope you guys learned something, and yeah, see you all later.